what you eat. The nasty twizzlers. <laughs> Damn, my girl might eat these nasty. I don't know what's going on with my twizzlers. They, yeah. um, they must have took something out of them. They don't taste the same, and plus they hard. They're not chewy like they used to be. Why you don't eat the black, the black kind? Ain't that the licorice? They done, um, they said for health reasons they stopped making it. Oh. Because it's got black, um, food dye in it. Oh. And Ooh. it's not. But well, it's red dye. I know it. I don't see the difference. I like the <laughs> black better than I like the, uh, That's Oh, okay. But you can't hardly find the black anymore. Oh, okay. And they used to make them in the Nasty. form <laughs> of a pipe. You know, like you smoke a pipe. Oh. They used to make the licorice in the form of a pipe. Mm. <laughs> you can have it, honey. That nasty candy. This is considered a delicacy. <laughs> delicacy? No, it ain't. Yes. <laughs> that ain't no delicacy. It, it, it look, I'm gonna, uh, look it up and Google it. Mm -hmm. That's rich white people eat these. Oh, do they? Okay. All right, enjoy. Yeah. It's this like. Oh, um, Frasier. Uh huh. What's his brother's name? The skinny one, I know. Yeah. Yeah. He used to eat these all the time. On the show? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Enjoy. I am. Nasty <laughs> candy. What you eating? The nasty twizzlers. <laughs> Damn, my girl might eat these nasty. I don't know what's going on with my twizzlers. They, yeah. um, they must have took something out of them. They don't taste the same, and plus they hard. They're not chewy like they used to be. Why you don't eat the black, the black kind? Ain't that the licorice? They done, um, they said for health reasons they stopped making it. Oh. Because it's got black, um, food dye in it. Oh, okay. And it's Ooh. not. But it's red dye. I know it. I don't see the difference. I like the black better than I like the, uh, Nasty. Oh, okay. But you can't hardly find the black anymore. Oh, okay. And they used to make them in the Nasty. form <laughs> of a pipe. You know, like you smoke a pipe. Oh. They used to make the licorice in the form of a pipe. Mm. <laughs> you can have it, honey. <laughs> Anyway, what's up, you guys? So, I'm going to cook today, Sunday dinner. I ain't cooked in a long time. Well, I cooked yesterday. But anyway, it's like a Sunday, Sunday meal. Anyway, so I'm going to be making stove shells. I have not made this in about a year and a half. When I first made it, it was really, really good. So, I was like, let me fix it again. So, I ain't ever heard of this brand, the Jumbo Shell. I normally get the Food Line brand or the Walmart brand, but... This is all they had. Like, I don't know if there's a food shortage going on or something, but anyway, that's all they had. So anyway, I got all my little fixings. Hold on, I'm going to turn the camera around. So I got my little stuff, spinning. I'm going to make some little butter honey rolls. Got all my little stuff. Get some green beans on the side, a little parmesan, mozzarella. Got that. Boom, boom. So I'm going to get the cooking and stay tuned. This, and I hope this big can of green beans can fit in this pot because I sure don't feel like I'm going to fit. Ooh, barely. <laughs> hey, man. Y'all, so I called my grandmother. I said, Grandma, look on the top shelf in the pantry. Because I know I had some shelves left. Right? They not in there. I don't see them. Blah, blah, blah. So I bought that big box, which I just showed y'all. So something just said, Arjun, open the, the pantry and look on the top shelf. And I had. It's alright. It's alright. Just gonna have the extra. Alright, so I just added my little seasonings. Let that cook a little bit more. Chop it up. Got my noodles boiling and my green beans. Alright, so the meat is done. Alright, so now I'm about to cook the spinach. So I'm not um, seasoning the spinach just because it's going to go into the ricotta cheese and some salt and pepper and stuff like that. So I'm just basically just cooking it. You'll see. Stay tuned. Alright you guys, so I'm about to make the stuffing for the shells. So I just got a little, what is this, 15 ounce? Yeah, 15 ounce of ricotta cheese. <clears throat> 
really hold on okay I'm back so um just got me a little bowl <clears throat> and I'm gonna just put it the whole thing in there okay well that's just came right on out all right cool so it's there and got my uh parmesan cheese it's in a cup so I'm gonna just I'm good with my measurements, so that's a cup. Not my dad. And my mozzarella. This is the most important to me. It's the mozzarella. Just got a whole cup. That's about a cup. Alright. You can put as much cheese as you want. That's just me. That's just me. Uh, let me get the um, spinach. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I got the spinach. So it's done. So it's Put it on in here. Alright. One egg. Alright. And some salt and pepper. Hold on. You're liking salt, pepper. All right, cool. Boom. So this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna mix it up, okay? Okay, it's gonna take a minute. Bye. All right. So it's done. I'm gonna taste it. Hold on. Make sure it's to my liking. Perfect. Boom. All right, so that's what it looks like. Okay. So now I'm going to get the shells, and then we're going to stuff them. Okay. So the noodles are drained. Oh, except for that one. Let's get that little juice out. There we go. All right, so they're ready. All right, I hope you guys can see this. So I have my pan, and I already have my little sauce kind of already. So I'm going to just put a little bit here. Just a little bit more. Just kind of, you know, just put it at the bottom a little bit more. Alright, a little bit more, a little bit more. <laughs> a little bit more. Okay, that's good enough. Alright, cool. Okay, so my shells are already drained and cooled, so I got my little stuff here, so I'm just going to open the shell a little bit, uh-oh, so I'm going to open the shell and just kind of stuff it, well I'm going to do it over here, so, alright, so I put the stuffing in the shell here, so I'm going to just place it like that, do another one for you guys, uh-oh, shells is hot. Just stuff it real good. All right, and then just put it on in there. Boom. All right, so that's the gist of it. I'll show you the ending. Okay, so I finished stuffing all of them. This is what it looks like. I had just enough. Boom. Still got a little bit of noodles left, but those are broken, so I'm glad I had extra. Anyway, yeah. Cool deal. Okay, so I got the meat, so I'm going to just go ahead and just put it over it like this. You can do it however you want. If you want to put the meat in there with the shells, you can do that as well. It's completely up to you. Got a lot, so I'm going to use all of it. Boom. Cover it up real good. Alright. Boom. Alright, so the meat is on there, so I'm gonna add a little bit more sauce to it. And I have 
my cleanser. I'm not <clears throat> low on sauce. Can never have too much, too much sauce. So I might put some more. Hold on. If you want to know the sauce I'm using, I use Prego flavored meat, and then I used the traditional, and I just kind of mixed it together. Yeah. Okay, so I added some more sauce to it. All right. So let's get some more mozzarella cheese. Put a little bit more on the top. It's kind of like making lasagna, you guys, which I haven't made in years. I kind of like this way better. You can put as much cheese as you want if you're a cheese person. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put just a little bit of Parmesan, not too much. All right, cool. Boom. All right. All right. I'm going to add some little parsley. If it comes out. Oh my gosh. Ain't got time. You can put it on before or after. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it on before so I can cook. Beautiful. Alright, let's pop this baby in the oven. Alright, let's pop this baby in the oven. <laughs> Boom. I look like somebody's mom in the kitchen, honey. I look a hot mess. So anyway, so you cook it on 375 for about 30, 35 minutes. Okay? Now I'm going to make my little honey glazed little croissants. So my friend is coming over and she can't eat like certain meats, so she can only eat like salmon. So she was like, can you make some stuffed shells with salmon in it? Um, I'm going to try. Stay tuned. So luckily I had some salmon, so I'm getting ready to season it, and then I'm going to put it in the air fryer right quick. Okay? So the salmon is done. Um, I'm chopping them up in little pieces, so um, I started one. I don't know how this is going to come out. We just planned it by ear. All right, y'all, so I got them stuffed. I'm just adding a little more sauce. Listen, we ain't never done this before. We're just doing it as we go. All right. So the croissants are done. Hold on. So I'm making some little honey butter glaze drizzle for the croissants. So stay tuned. Alright, y'all. Got my little glaze going. That baby. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna use all this honey glaze. Butter everything. Alright, so they is glazed to the max. Done. So everything came out good. That's that. And then this is the salmon glazed ones. Look, glazed. <laughs> they ain't glazed. Salmon stuffed ones. 